I'm Dan Drake, the owner of Drake Family Farms, a local goat dairy here in Southern California. We're in Ontario and we make a farmstead goat cheese with the milk from our own goats. I think the thing that's hardest with making uh, goat cheese is that you have to be consistent every single time and everything has to be clean. And one of the biggest things is to start with a really good quality milk and that's one of the advantages of having a farmstead cheese. We have con complete control of the process, starting with what we feed the goats and how they live and all that, all the things that you do there to make a superior quality milk come back to you when you're making the cheese. So the one that we make the most of is a fresh French style uh, goat cheese called Chev and we pasteurize the milk twice a week and then we um, add French cultures to it and also rent it and we incubate it over 12 hours overnight and then we drain it in the next day in the morning in the cheese bags and separate the curds from the whey and then the nice thing about Chev is you can add different flavorings to it so one of our um, most popular flavors that we shared with the class was our apricot and honey cheese which uh, goes really well with strawberries at this time of the year. One of the things that I talked about in the class was the difference between our Chev and our cheese that we call fromage blanc. And actually, it's the exact same recipe, the exact same milk, the exact same cultures, the exact same times that we do everything, except we heat the, the milk at a hotter temperature, which helps change the protein structure and gives it a very creamy, um, almost cream cheese-like um, flavor and texture. A lot of people uh, really like our fromage blanc because it tastes like it's loaded with fat, but it's not. It's just the regular fat content of the goat cheese. Since I'm a veterinarian, I guess the thing that I would really like to research are more goat diseases so that we can have healthier, happier goats. One of my favorite cheeses that I made when I was a kid was taught to me by a, a Greek guy. We would pour the milk into a big pot on a stove and then we would heat it up till it almost boiled and then we'd add vinegar to it and he'd pull the cheese out and that is a fantastic cheese.